Well, imagine if your smartphone could be even smarter. Well, new software from an Israeli tech company allows paralyzed users to control their gadgets hands-free. And our Ray Rottenberg has more on the story. 64-year-old electrical engineer Giora Livne fell off a ladder nine years ago. He's been confined to a wheelchair ever since, unable to move his legs and arms. I was in a very deep depression. But he was determined to use a smartphone, just like everyone else. And now he can. Open Sesame. A new software he co-invented turns on with a voice command. He then operates it by moving his head. I jumped from the stone age, I call it, to the, this age of technology and the age of uh, using all the features that uh, the, the internet and the phone can give me. Livne says he can now use most applications, including email, and enjoys the privacy of making his own calls. Hey, Giro, what's up? Oded Bendov jokingly says touch is overrated. A software developer, he partnered up with Livne three years ago. The phone was working for some test users before it was working for Giora, because Giora's head movements are really limited. Um, when we took a video of him and watched it in the lab, we couldn't even tell he was moving his face. Um, but then we did a lot of work on the algorithm, and now it's even tracking his, his fine movements. Bendov says this is just a start. They're hoping that eventually this technology can be applied to everything that requires touch, even driving. And with millions of potential users, that could mean millions of lives changed. Livne's son, Ori, says his father is already one example. Oh. There's been a, a, a very long period that uh, I didn't have my father and uh, I, I had to take care of uh, every aspect of uh, his life, you know. And, and now it became more like with the father I knew. And though newfound independence has its limits, Livne says he's been reborn. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV in Haifa, Israel.